So when I was researching the history of free speech at the University of Chicago, I stumbled across an article right next to it about Jane Stanford. In 1899, she was concerned that there were too many women at Stanford, and she set a cap at 500 women. She said she founded the university in honor of her son, and its primary purpose was to educate young men, not young women. She said her husband and son would also agree with that principle. Well, things went downhill from there, according to Stanford Magazine. After witnessing young men and women walking around campus together after dark without a chaperone, she was completely shocked and horrified. In 1903, she told the Board of Trustees of Stanford that if they ever wanted to ban women from the campus altogether, it was fine with her. However, once she retired from the board, it declined to take up her offer. But the cap at 500 women remained until the Great Depression. But facing bankruptcy, the Stanford board had to do something to stop plummeting enrollment. The board searched high and low to find some wiggle room to get around Jane Stanford's cap of 500 women. Eventually, they found a way. She had told the board that its primary mission was to protect the quality of the university and everything else was secondary. So in 1933, the board decided her cap on women's enrollment came second to preserving the institution. But the board did enact a requirement that the school remain at least 60% male. It wasn't until 40 years later, in 1973, that Stanford went to court to officially nullify Jane Stanford's cap on women, afraid that the university might be banned from getting government contracts and otherwise accused of sex discrimination. Jane Stanford might be spinning in her grave today to know that the undergraduate population is 50% female, about 3,500 women, not counting women in the graduate and professional schools.